guys today we're going to make a tungsten holder so grab yourself the charged up battery or a drill of your choice it's ready to go next you're going to want to grab yourself a quarter doesn't really matter what kind what you yeah, this one work standard quarter and a stainless steel washer the stainless steel washer is only for a little bit extra thickness so it could absorb a little bit more heat, something to weld to. So you got a little bit more meat on there. All right, what you guys want to do is grab yourself some 16th inch stainless steel filler wire. Stuff that's relatively about the same size. With the filler wire matched up evenly on one side, put it in your vise. Put about an inch or so in clamp down. So it holds it snugly. And chuck up the other side into your drill. And twist it up. So you get a nice even twist. Don't go so extreme that it starts to bind up. Just till it starts to pull you in. Right about there, it starts to bind. Go ahead and release that one. That's one done. Should look something like this. So that's the part that was in your chuck or in your vise. Should be a nice even twist, fairly straight, to you get to your drill side. You have a little bit of left over. Now rinse and repeat for your desired amount of twisted sections. normal size tungsten is seven inches. We're gonna be cutting those in half. So we're gonna do it at three and a half. twist tie some zip ties around your stainless steel and your rod so it doesn't come out so it's nice and solid then snip off your zip ties ends and then chuck it up in the drill We're going to 
I build up the sedge so it's a little bit more uniform and also pad the base so we can get rid of that copper showing through so everything's stainless on the outside and we'll grind it down and make it square it off. Here she stands. We're just about done with the bottom half. One thing we got to do now is add a small diameter pipe on the inside of here. And we're going to cut it down to the length so everything matches up on this end. And that'll give us something to weld all of our filler rod to. And that'll give us pretty practically about the same size as the base so everything will match up real nice. And then we'll start working on the cap. See you guys in the shop. Alrighty guys, ended up cutting a three quarter inch stainless uh, sanitary pipe to about the right size. Gonna zip tie it together and cut it off on the bandsaw, make everything nice and even. That'll be our internal tube that we're gonna thread to. Just gotta figure out what the tap size is gonna be. But yes yeah, sir, it's coming together. Let's get this thing buzzed off. Here it is, ended up chopping it down on the chop saw today. Added a three quarter 065 oil sanitary pipe on the inside. Right now I'm just going to fuse the top, top half. And I added in another uh, curled up piece of TIG wire to fill in a little bit of gap that it caused. And then I'm going to buff it down afterwards so everything's nice and nice and even. Now that I have some backing, I'll be able to weld to it, weld to the pipe and everything will be nice and sturdy. But we're going to fuse this together and we're going to figure out what this thread size has to be and start building our cap here pretty soon but here we go guys made a couple uh, adjustments made about 5,000 different decisions on what I wanted to do with this this holder but I ended up throwing a 5 8 by 18 tap into the uh, holder itself so it's threaded for 5 8 by 18 made a couple of different pieces on the lathe I cut the video short because it was just too shaky made a 5 8 by 18 coupler Made a 5 8 by 18 cap, which I was originally planning on using, but I'm not going to use it anymore. This was going to originally be like that, 
this piece was going to be welded on the here and this was going to thread into that to close it off but i changed my mind what i'm now going to do is i'm going to thread this into here get a couple threads on there tack weld it screw this on to here till it bottoms out and then i'm going to take the remainder of my solid round bar finish it off and then cut a little sliver put it on here after this is beveled weld this on then chuck this back up into the lathe and refinish it so it almost looks like there's it's one solid finished piece and then this will be the final cap so let's get this all tacked up and we'll show you what it looks like All right, here she is, guys. There's a million different ways to make these things. It's essentially just a holder. You can cut apart a, a marker and throw your tungsten in there if you want it to. Just a uh, simple little make it once and have it keep it forever. Kind of a cool little piece. But, uh, yeah, this is just getting thrown in the toolbox. And uh, just going to keep my tungsten in it from now on. Throw it in my back pocket and go go to work. But if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you off in the next one. Appreciate you watching. Peace.